Hey guys, we're back. This time we're taking a look at the Wave 5 expansions for the World of Tanks miniatures game from Galforce 9. This time around we have the German Panther. And uh, as always, they have these emblem on the cover here means that inside there is a code that you can use in the online game to redeem uh, some free stuff. Uh, you get more if you're making a new account, but there's also some stuff in there if you have an existing account too. So check those out and uh, keep an eye out for those stickers if uh, that's something you're interested in. But anyway, we're going to get right in and uh, take a look at the Panther here. So the first thing we have is the insert. Tells you what all is in here. The barcode on the inside there are the instructions on how to redeem the code the code is on the other side of this little card here so next we have our vehicle card here and they're super glossy but uh, you can see here we got panther has the light blank ability or detriment I guess it is over here it is a tier 7 medium tank 64 points Firepower of 5 is a little bit above average, which is kind of nice. Survivability of 2 is pretty good. Mobility of 3 is very good. And a initiative of 5. We have 5 crewmen down here. A commander, gunner, driver, radio operator, and loader. And 7 hit points. It's pretty respectable for a medium. On the flip side here, we have the definition of our light flank ability, which is this tank, uh, when it's the target of a side shot, you subtract an additional defense die. So whenever you're being fired at from the side, you're going to lose uh, extra defense. So make sure your front end is pointed towards the enemy. That's kind of a good rule with pretty much any tank. But even more so with these. Uh, and over here is our medium tank ability, which is when shooting, you can reroll a blank attack die. All medium tanks have that. And then, of course, down here in the corner, we have our background history on the vehicle. Next, we have some upgrade cards. Let's we'll start off with the 7.5-centimeter uh, gun. It's a German-only upgrade for three points. can only be used on the Panther. gives you plus one to your attack, so bumps that five up to a six, which is very nice. For an additional three points, so that's definitely worth it. Uh, the trade-off is that it's an arrow shot when attacking. You have to modify one of your critical hits into just a normal hit. So you're getting that extra die at the cost of possibly losing a critical. So there is a trade-off on there, but definitely an interesting upgrade and worth keeping an eye on. Next up, we have the Enhanced Suspension Upgrade. It's a generic upgrade for two points. Gives you plus one initiative during the movement phase. You already have a 5 initiative on here, so you can bump it up to a 6 for movement. Get you in position to where you need to be. Not bad. Can't really complain about that one. Pretty standard pair, though. Next, we have a vertical stabilizer. Another generic equipment. This is uh, 4 points for this one. And while stationary or while you have a movement uh, 1 token, you can re-roll 1 attack die. So if you're sitting still or moving slow, you basically uh, it helps you with your aim a little bit. Another good one there, a little bit more expensive, but could be worth it. Next we move on to our crew upgrades. First off here we have Relang, which is a basic radio operator. Six points at the start of the shooting phase. Choose another tank to gain this tank's base initiative till the end of the phase. This one already has a five, which is pretty respectable, but I think there's... I don't know if the Germans have access to one of the lights with the really high, but you can I've seen them up as high as in seven or eight for initiative. And being able to equip this onto that, share that with a uh, one of your other tanks can be a very nice uh, trade-off there. Even sharing to five isn't too bad because I know there's some that have pretty crappy initiative. So all around good. A little expensive at six points though for that, unless you have a vehicle in your platoon that has a really high initiative that you can put this on to really make use out of it. Could definitely help you in that respect, but with a 5, I don't think I would put it on this tank so much as save it for a light tank to put it on that to share that initiative with, say, a Tiger. And finally, we have Philip Stropnagel, and I'm sure I said that wrong. I don't know German. <laughs> but uh, 
He's a German only upgrade for 12 points. And he is a driver. He has the off road driving ability, which is plus two initiative during your movement phase. Again, boosting up that initiative is pretty nice. And he has smooth ride, which is while shooting, treat this tank's movement token as if it's one less when calculating the target's defense dice. So if you could go one and it doesn't count against you for your shooting, but you still get that defense of yourself when people are shooting at you, you could go two, it counts as a one, and so on. So very nice, especially with a tank with a movement of three. You can also put him on other tanks too. Probably build a nice combo around that. Very expensive, 12 points, but that bonus to the initiative and the smooth ride, it's a nice combo. Still very expensive at 12 points though. And then finally we have the tank itself here. And it's pretty much identical to the old model from the tanks game. Beast of a tank though, all around. And my turret was actually, I think it was glued or painted uh, straight on. They should rotate, it should be removable. Uh, I think maybe the primer here was still wet or could even be a little bit of glue seeped down from those up there. Keep an eye on that. I only have the one for reference, so I don't know if it's a common occurrence, but yeah, it really took some force to break that loose, but definitely a nice vehicle, and probably I would say this is going to be the mainstay of your German forces. Obviously, you want a Tiger. Everybody wants a Tiger, but they're expensive. A couple uh, Panthers in there will definitely uh, hold you over as the, the main focus of your uh, platoon. That's a look at everything that comes in the Panther expansion for Wave 4 of the World of Tanks miniatures game. Um, overall, I really like it. It's probably my second favorite, yeah, third, it's in the top three of the uh, all the German vehicles. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the Stug. If you watch any of my previous videos, I'm sure I've ranted about that or seen any of my gameplay videos of the World of Tanks game. I love my Stug. The Panther's up there. The Tiger's the other one that's in the top there. Those three... I think out of those three, you can build yourself just a mean force. Of course, you're going to want a Panzer three or four in there to, you know, run scouting or spot things for you. So it's a well-rounded force, but definitely uh, one of my favorite vehicles in the German faction. Definitely worth picking one up and uh, adding to your platoon, I think. I even have a couple left over from the old game. They came in the starter set, and I bought like two or three starter sets. So <laughs> I have a ton of them. But... Uh, Definitely a, a nice vehicle, and you can't go wrong with picking one of these up. That's going to wrap it up for our look at the Panther from World of Tanks Miniatures game Wave 5. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.